Hey, Snackers. This is Kareem. Hey, I'm Matt. Welcome to episode 121 of Snack Minute. Today, we're going to talk to you about ENCC with Quinn Snyder, uh, one of our frequent guests. Quinn, let's get to it, brother. Well, a lot of the work that we've been doing inside of learning and certifications has been kind of prepping for uh, ENCC. And I know that Patrick was on a, a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago and talked kind of holistically about the, the blueprint and kind of what it entailed. Um, but what I've been trying to do is make sure that when we have that that uh, certification go live, when you're actually able to test that you have some practical uh, theory and application that you can, you can put to that. So I've been creating a tutorial series around connecting on-prem resources. So in, in my case, just a, a, a single virtual router up to clouds and creating VPN connections um, to those clouds to make sure that we can exchange routes if you have resources that are stored up there in AWS or Azure or GCP, uh, being able to connect those two and show you kind of the step-by-step -step process in a tutorial format on Cisco U. And today I thought I would kind of walk through one of those tutorials. Um, it won't be AWS because I feel like AWS gets a lot of love, so I'm going to be doing uh, some <laughs> Azure stuff as well today just to show that we're, we're talking about multiple clouds. But the tutorial series will cover all three of those clouds in, in detail. If you look at the blueprint and you're interested in this ENCC cloud certification that we have coming out for you, um, it's actually going to guide you through that through our tutorial. So I'm super excited about uh, the, the series that you're coming out with, uh, Quinn. You know, this is one of those cool topics where we talk about it with everyone kind of high level connecting your um, public cloud to your private cloud or your, or your private on-premises network. And so um, it's cool to see it in practice. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see how it plays out with Azure and, and how we can put that all together. Um, I should note before you get into it, Quinn, you know, this is another one of those uh, spooky topics during our cybersecurity month of October. Um, <laughs> so glad that you can kind of jump in and, and talk about that with us today, Quinn. So um, have that, brother. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm even I'm even wearing my security uh, shirt for for October. And coincidentally enough, this is dealing with VPN. So, um, uh, kind of at a, at a high level on my screen here, what I have when we when we build these tutorials, um, I think a lot of the confusion that comes with cloud once you get over the whole fact that cloud is just someone else's computer. Yes, we've all heard that trope <laughs> and things like that, but. Um, Every cloud does things slightly differently. Um, so the names that they use are slightly different. We have different terminology, different things that are required to be configured separately. Uh, AWS requires you to configure things like subnets outside of uh, your, your VPC and things like that, whereas uh, Azure, you do that all inside the virtual network or the VNet. So um, at the top, and what we have here on my, on my screen is just a real high level architecture of what we'll be configuring. So at the top of each tutorial, I outline each of the, the the constructs that we'll, we will be configuring. So we'll be configuring a virtual network and inside that virtual network, we'll have some subnets. Um, we'll have a virtual network gateway, uh, which is the, the VPN head end inside of Azure. Uh, we'll create a local network gateway construct, which basically tells Azure, these are my uh, local resources that will be connecting to uh, that, vert, that that cloud VPN head end. So I'm defining my router's IP and kind of pre-shared keys and things that are all important for VPN connectivity. And then I bind both of those endpoints together with the connection service inside of Azure, which defines all of my parameters, my key exchanges, uh, what kind of security I'm using. And then finally, I'll apply that configuration to a, a virtual router. I have a, a CS, I'm sorry, a, a Catalyst 8000 V that's running inside of my uh, virtual uh, environment in my house. And we'll connect up and we'll show that there's some BG peering and things like that. So um, in the interest of full disclosure, I have pre-configured these things um, because uh, we don't want to be sitting and waiting for these things to deploy inside of Azure. So I will, I've pre-created them, but I'll walk through the steps. Uh, and then, like I said, if you want to do this hands-on, uh, there is a tutorial that is published on uh, Cisco U that will walk you through step-by-step -step so you can do it yourself. And, and the tutorial will tell me like how to deploy all the resources that are required for for me to make that connection happen, right? To create a virtual network, it, it, it's, it's like five or six minutes to deploy. So I didn't want to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and look pretty while that was going on. So in this virtual network, we, we can think of this as, as like a construct that holds all of our resources. So we could put compute in here, we can put network things in here, we can put uh, Kubernetes services, we can put containers. Uh, so this virtual network is just this, this uh, high level holding thing inside of Azure's cloud. And what I have done is I've created a couple of things. Um, 
We've defined some address space, and this address space just says, here's what we can, inc uh, the, the entire supernet uh, that can be included inside of, of that uh, VNet. Now, more importantly, I've created two subnets in here. I have a default subnet, which just says, if I'm going to create some hosts or things like that, uh, assign those hosts out of this uh, first 24, and then have this other slash 24 as my gateway subnet. So all of my peering or all of my um, VPN connectivity will be pulled from that gateway subnet. So those are the two big things that come out of the, the, the VNet here inside of, of Azure. Once that's done, I will create my virtual network gateway. And that's that second piece. This is that VPN head end that uh, will, I will be connecting to with my, um, with my virtual router. Uh, all I've done is, is create, there's specific SKUs in here. And in the tutorial, I get uh, more uh, granular about what these SKUs mean. Um, essentially, it's based on some throughput and do I want to have active, active, or active standby uh, for, for uh, resiliency and failover? And then do I want to use BGP? And in this case, I have BGP established, so I will be peering BGP over my VPN tunnel when I have it established. So, Quinn, I wanted to ask you something. and. and I kind of know the answer to this, but I want you to to just talk a little bit about it from a conversation that you and I just had recently. If I am not familiar with the cloud platform or whatever cloud I'm I'm deploying this this um, creating this on, would I understand what is as a network engineer? Would I understand what active active mode is or gateway private IPs and conf how to configure BGP? Is that something that's sp specific to the cloud or does it? Is it's just a skill set that you know as a network engineer. Uh, so I'm going to fall back on on an analogy that's probably going to raise some eyebrows. Um, networks are like ducks, right? So a, a network, <laughs> whether that is a cloud network, whether that is a Meraki-based network, whether I'm doing something with Catalyst, all of those networks use the same things. I still have IP addresses. I still have some kind of routing protocol or, or protocols that go inside of there. I still have network devices like switches and routers. Just like ducks have feathers, they have bills, they quack, they have web feet, they swim. Every duck looks really close to another duck, just like every network looks really close to another network. Where we get a little bit uh, different is, is there are different kinds of ducks. We have uh, mallards, we have wood ducks, we have mergansers, we've got a lot of other ducks. I, I know it's probably weird that I know so much about ducks. Um, and we do have other networks. We have cloud networks, we have SD-WAN networks, we have SDA networks, we have data center networks with ACI. So yes, there are differences behind them, but if you don't have a solid understanding in the fundamentals, if I don't know IP addressing, if I don't know uh, how switching and routing and routing protocols and, and these different things work, then I'm not going to understand them just because we've moved them into the cloud and put them behind a web UI. You're, there's still some fundamental understanding that you need to have before you can go out through this process. Did you know he was going to come with a duck that analogy? I totally cream? set him up for this. Like I just ah. basically just set him up so he can knock it out the park. Well, that was a treat for me. Getting back to this, though, the, the two big things that are important behind this once it's configured is I have this BGP, BGP peer address and then the public IP address. Now, the one thing that is different about the cloud is that I will establish an, an outside tunnel to some public IP address so I can I have that reachability between my uh, local router, my local VPN endpoint, and the cloud. So I'm going to establish the VPN tunnel over that, but I'm going to be peering behind and through that tunnel to something inside of my VNet. So just because I have a public IP address external on Azure does not mean I'm going to be peering directly with that IP. I'm going to be peering inside of the VNet for my BGP relationship. The next piece of this is my local gateway, and this is also fairly fairly simple. Uh, I just define my configuration, in this case, my IP address, which uh, IP address range I want to use for my, my establishment of the tunnel. So that's the other weird idiosyncrasy is I have the VPN endpoint that gets, or VPN connection that gets established to the cloud provider. Then I run a tunnel over the top of that to be able to establish um, uh, exchange of routing protocols and information, and then I peer BGP through that tunnel. So it's like inception, I've got VPN, and then I have this uh, standard uh, tunnel, and then inside of that I have my BGP relationship. And then I'm just defining my local AS on my router, and then the address that I want to use for my, um, 
my end of the tunnel. Um, and because I have a slash 30 here, if that's my peer uh, IP address, sorry, if that's my IP address, then the, the dot two address will be used inside of the cloud uh, for that relationship. So again, going back to those those fundamentals, if I don't know subnetting, I'm not gonna be able to pull that address out for that tunnel establishment cream. Last piece here is, is the connection, and this ties those pieces together. And this is where we define all of our different policies. So I have encryption, Diffie-Hellman groups, all those kinds of things. What comes out of this, though, is an ability to download the configuration from Azure. So I can choose what kind of device I, I'm running, who makes it, uh, and then firmware versions and things like that. I will spit out something that looks similar to this, which is a sample configuration um, that I can paste into my, my device. This is a little bit different and because I'm doing something a little bit different behind my my virtual router is behind my edge firewall it's not sitting on the edge of my network uh, I have templates that are included as part of the tutorial where you fill in some different pieces uh, talking about peer IP addresses local IP addresses uh, things like that you can copy and paste this if you're running a virtual router on your laptop or things like that and if all things work I will be able to copy all of this configuration and move into my terminal. And paste this all. And we will sit and wait here for a second. So now that I have all that configuration in here, and again, if you go through the, 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 the template and the tutorial, all of these things match in terms of encryption, Diffie-Hellman key exchanges and things like that. I should be able to do a show crypto Ike V2SA and see that I have some security uh, relationships established there. If I do a show crypto uh, IPsec SA, I have some IPsec uh, exchanges going on between myself and the cloud. And then finally, the real test of this it will be a show IP BGP sum. We can see I have a neighbor relationship established to my peer AS and I have received one prefix, which if I do a show IP route, uh, BGP, we can see that I'm receiving that 100016 supernet, which is my address space defined in the VNet uh, over my my cloud VPN to the cloud. The one thing I will say is is as part of this the the tutorial um, when you establish these resources in the cloud. Uh, I know every cloud provider has some slightly different policies on what's free, what's not, credits, things like that. Um, make sure that you tear these things down when you're not using them because they will uh, create some kind of cost behind that as well. If I'm doing this tutorial, clearly, you know, you've stated that you have a virtual uh, vir virtual switch on your uh, local machine. Um, could I do this with the free uh, Azure account or would I have to get so, a paid? Uh, Azure, I believe when you sign up, will give you some free credits, like 150 bucks or 300 bucks or something along those lines. Uh, yes, you can absolutely use use that. Uh, the caveat being is you need to make sure that you have a, a slightly um, higher tier of VPN endpoint to create BGP relationships. You can't use the lowest tier one. You've got to use a slightly more expensive one. So that cost could possibly accumulate again if you don't shut these resources down. Quinn, thank you so much for this tutorial. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Snackers, if you want to check out this tutorial, any other tutorial, the many that we have on Cisco U, head over to u.cisco.com. We are in the, uh, again, spooky cybersecurity month. <laughs> And um, we have a lot of great offers available to you. You can check those out below. Um, Kareem, you said tutorials six times in those two sentences. I just wanted to let I'm you know. I'm just excited about it. It's always a pleasure to have you. Um, thank you for showing this to us. Um, you know, this is awesome. And, um, you know, I'll let Kareem tell me how the tutorial goes. And uh, Snackers, thanks so much for, for joining us this week. And we'll catch you again next week with uh, yet another fun episode.